In this video, I'm going to discuss the best walleye jigs to use at Kasagami Lodge. I'm going to discuss styles, colors, and different jig head sizes to use. To start the video off, I'm going to talk about grubs. Now they come in an array of different sizes and colors, and it's really hard to choose what color and size you want when you walk into a store. Here I'm going to break it down for you. The three best colors to use at Kasagami our chartreuse, pink and white, and white. And two best sizes being three inch like I have in the chartreuse and pink and white, and the four inch like I have in the white. Personally, I like the four inch because the four inch I find is a bit bigger profile, fits a jig head better, and also I get a bit, uh, a bit better bites when it comes to fishing for walleye. Now, right here I have a quarter ounce jig head. It's made by Jigga Joe. They make great jig heads. Whenever you walk into a store though, really any jig head will work because it's just walleye. They aren't crazy powerful like a pike would be, but they are good quality jigs nonetheless. Um, size wise, I'll stick to a quarter ounce jig head. If you want to get one, one jig head, then I would say get white quarter ounce jig head because that'll really fit any of these jigs properly. I'll go up to a 3 8 ounce only when it's super windy out. If it's blowing, you're getting four footers at the lodge. Then I'll drop on, or I'll put on a 3 8 ounce jig head. But other than that, I usually stick to a quarter ounce. These baits that I have in front of me are swim baits. Now, swim baits, they're another great bait for walleye. Uh, colors, I like to stick to white, pink, and green pumpkin. The bait I have above these three, it's a more detailed uh, perch color. That's really what the green pumpkin is really looking to uh, imitate. It's just a bit more detail and which is going to cost a bit more though. You're getting in these three, you're getting about 10 for 350, or this one you're getting about 5 for 350. Again, the detail in it. You can see how real it looks. But I find sometimes that detail is what's key to getting some of those fish. The uh, way I like to rig them, I'll use a quarter ounce jig head, uh, but I like that longer shank in the X zone, uh, X1 lures. Now as long as it's got the longer shank, it doesn't matter what company it is, but I find that the longer shank just helps me get a better hookup with some walleye, just in case they're being a bit nippy. Something like this, as you can see, sits about here, where the X1 lures uh, longer shank it sits about here. It sits a bit farther back, so you're getting a bit more hook into the bait and into the fish. Um, like I said, I'll use a quarter ounce jig head. I'll go up to a 3 8 ounce if it's super windy out, but I usually stick to a quarter ounce jig head. Uh, a lot of companies make them. You can get smaller ones made by uh, Berkeley, like I said, the Berkeley Havoc Grass Pigs and the Berkeley Havoc Sick Fish. Um, Set the Hook makes some good ones. Longer Hunt makes some good ones. Uh, there's lots of different companies out there. Really, any swim bait really works. So if you're looking for a different style bait or you want to have something as a backup, these are great baits to have to get a lot more bites. This bait right here, this is my big fish bait. Um, I'll throw this whenever we've had a lot of warm weather, say two or three days at least of warm weather and the, war uh, sorry, the water has warmed up a lot. Now, I will be targeting walleye, but I may get the odd big pike. If you're looking to get that bigger walleye, I suggest using this bait because I find I get a lot more uh, bigger bites. This is a four and a half inch swim bait. It's made by Berkeley and it's the Power Bait Rib Shad. You can get really any swim bait that's around the four and a half to five and a half inch range. Any one will really work. I just found I like the, uh, the action on this swim bait. I'll rig it on a three eighth ounce jig head because I get a faster fall and I find I get a bit bigger profile. Stick to your greens and your browns, your natural colors for uh, fish, and you tend to get more bites on those than you would with some brighter colors. So if you're looking to get those bigger walleye, whether you're new coming into the lodge or you've been coming to the lodge for many years, I recommend getting this bait. These baits here, these are cold front baits. The reason I say that is because they have a ton of scent to them. They work throughout the season, but they work, I find, even better during cold front conditions. 
These two baits here are what I call quiver baits because when you rig them on a jig head and they're sitting on the bottom, they'll start doing this. They just quiver in the water. This is the Berkley Gulf Alive 3 inch leech. You can get it in a 5 inch size, but I like that smaller profile of the 3 inch. I'll rig it on a quarter ounce jig head at the most, but I'll, I may go down to a 1 8 ounce on a very rare occasion when I find I'm not getting any bites. This is a 3 inch smelt minnow. Again, I'll rig this on a quarter ounce jig head at the most. You can get that in a 4 inch size and a 5 inch in the Berkeley Gulp packaging, but again, I like that smaller profile. These two I'll use right after cold front hits. So that morning after, I'll drop these down because they don't have a ton of action to them, but that scent really helps bring the fish in. This bait here, this is the Berkeley Galt Minnow Grub. Now it only comes in three inch size, but you can get them in multiple colors. I prefer this two to four days after a cold front. It's when the fish have really gotten used to the cold and they start moving a bit more. This has the head of the minnow, but the tail of say a uh, twister tail. And this will create a lot of action, but again, it has the scent, so that scent really helps bring them in. These baits, they can be a bit more expensive. This one's about $6. These guys here, you get a lot of soft plastics, but you get them, they're about $20. You can get them at Sale, Bass Pro Shops, Canadian Tire, any local tackle store will have them though. So if you want to fish cold fronts a bit more effectively, I find these baits work the best. Alright, so now you've seen all the different ways to jig for walleye at Kasagami, from grubs, smaller swim baits, to scented baits, to larger swim baits. If you follow when to use them and different color choices that I've given you to use, you're sure to get a lot more bites at Kasagami.